This video is set up to help anyone who is interested in saving a lot of money on web hosting and domain name registration. It's also set up for my web design students. First, visit domainsforauthors.com. Once you're there, type in the, the name or the, the domain name that you'd like to register and click search. Make sure that the price you're presented with is $8.99. These prices have been set up exclusively for you. Then click Add to Cart. You may need to try different domain names. Pretty much everything has been registered. On the next page, you'll see some options for high-level domain names and variations of your domain name. You won't need those. Just click Continue to Cart. By default, Privacy Protection is enabled. You won't need that. You can click it off, no need to pay extra. The next thing you'll be selecting is your web hosting. Here you're going to select the least expensive option, which is $199, but it's very powerful. You get PHP scripting, database access, and more. You don't need to add email to your domain name. It already comes with the service. Then click Continue. On the next page, you'll either need to create an account or sign in. I already have an account. Logging in. Once you've logged in, you'll be at the shopping cart. Now at this point, you want to make sure you select these right options. Um, you want one year for the domain name registration at $8.99. For the web hosting, you want to go on a monthly basis for $1.99. With this setup, you only pay for the months that you use. Next, you'll enter your credit card information. And with the applicable taxes, the first month will be approximately 11 bucks. Um, each additional month is just $1.99. And you only pay for what you use. Next part, we'll, we'll set up the web hosting. And at this point, we'll um, select um, the domain name that you, we want to set up. And we'll associate it to our web hosting account. In this case, we only have one domain, so it's pretty simple. Click Next. Uh, we want to take North America. If that's where you are, click Next. Uh, do not select uh, WordPress. We are creating websites by hand. But if you do are using WordPress, go ahead and select it. It takes a few minutes to sign up. In my case, it only took 90 minutes, 90 seconds. At the next screen, you want to click C cPanel Admin. Once you've collected, uh, clicked cPanel Admin, you're going to want to select File Manager. File Manager will bring you to a directory of the files on your server. Um, the most important one is public underscore HTML. That is the folder where the files that are browsable will appear. Here we're going to create a new file called index.html. Index.html is the default file or particular folder, so when someone browses to your domain, it will be the page that will be served. Once you've created index.html, we're going to go to another page, in this case cis3630.org forward slash create new page.html. Once there, we're going to select the text for creating a new web page. We're going to select our index.html file. From the drop down, we want to select edit. Once we're in edit mode, we want to paste that HTML markup that we've copied from the other page and click save changes. And now we have our first web page. Next, I want to quickly show you how to edit a file using the WYSIWYG editor. This time we're going to click HTML edit. And now you'll see the text that we created with our HTML markup is now presented as if it was in a word processor. Here I'm adding my name and again just saving the file. And now I'm opening it again in the edit mode. And this time I'm telling it to disable checking for the encoding. And now back in the HTML markup, uh, we can see the text, my name that I added along with the surrounding HTML code. Now, if you, now I'm just adding some carriage returns and I'm getting rid of the text that says your HTML goes here. 
so that the page just simply has my name on it. The other stuff um, the meta tags and, and so forth I can describe uh, later on in the course. But now we see that we have a simple page and we have my name uh, bounded by P tags or paragraph tags. We'll save these changes and again it's just verifying that we want to disable the character encoding so click OK there. Now once we save that file we're going to go out to the browser and we're going to type in the URL we publish you.com and we can see here that we have our page successfully created this video was produced by aalbc.com